I'm going to teach you how to get more FPS for free. By default, Roblox limits your FPS count to 60, so no matter how good your computer is, you'll still only get 60 FPS. But today, I will show you the easiest method to get more FPS for completely free, all right now. Okay, so for the first step, it's very simple. You need to go to the link in the description and it'll take you to this web page. Now, basically, you'll see all this description and all you really need to know is you just need to scroll down until you see the assets. Now, once you see the assets, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to click on blockstrap.exe. This will start downloading it. Once it's finished downloading, you can open the file. Okay, sorry for this very quick ad break, but I just want to advertise something that recently we got channel memberships enabled on the channel. So you can click join and you become a member. Basically, you might be wondering what the perks are. And my basic explanation is the main perk is that your name will be displayed at the end of every video that I make. Another perk though is also that I'm more likely to see your comments, so if you end up needing help, then I can always reply because I have a priority to all my members. Anyway, sorry for that quick ad break, let's go back to the video. Okay, so once it's done downloading you and you open the file, you'll be presented with this page. So you see the interrogations and stuff, and there's a lot of different things you can do. For the example, the appearance. This is basically how Blockstrap looks when you open it up, we'll get to that later. But for the main thing, and the reason you're here, is in fast flags. So basically, what you need to do here, frame rate limit, set that to whatever you want. Now, I set mine to 240 because I have a 240Hz monitor, which basically means that I can only see up to 240Hz. But you can still change it to whatever you want, and like I could set it to 99999. It doesn't mean you're necessarily going to get that. I could set it like to 420, but it doesn't mean you're going to get that FPS. It basically just means that's how much you're able to get. So it'll just stop uh, and it'll cap it whatever FPS you set it to. So if you have a really good computer, even by default, without installing this, you're not going to get any higher than 60 FPS. It also has a lot of different features as well that actually just make it way better. You can even use the old material textures. Another thing that's really cool is you can use the old death sounds. You can get the oof back. And you can also change the mouse cursor to the old Roblox mouse cursors. I'm going to make a tutorial as well on that. Alright, so once you're done and you set your FPS count, all you're going to have to do now is click install. And it'll come up with this menu, basically saying all this information. You can read it if you want. But now what you can do is you can just click install. So it'll start installing. It won't take too long. And after you're done installing, we can go into a Roblox game. Now, once it's done installing, go into any Roblox game. For me, I'm going to be playing this game, which is just a random test game I made. You've seen it in a bunch of my videos if you watch any other videos. So when you click play, it will pop up with Blockstrap. Now, that'll basically be the same process as playing Roblox, and it also works with the Roblox app, but it doesn't work with the Microsoft Store app. So you have to make sure uh, if you're using Blockstrap, use the Roblox website or the uh, Roblox EXE that you download from the website. Never use the Microsoft Store. Okay, so now we're in, let's check my FPS. So you can hold down shift, and while you're holding down shift, click the F5 key. We can see on my FPS, and it's at 240. Now, is if you want to test your FPS, maybe test this game, it will be in the description, because this game is quite low, it's not really got much, so you probably get a quite high amount. And you can also set your graphics down all the way to the minimum, which will result in uh, the best amount to see if it's actually working and if you're getting above 60. Now what if I want to change my settings of Blockstrap? So if I want to change my settings, I can click the Windows button and I can go to the Blockstrap menu or you can search for it. And basically you gotta not open this, open the thing that's called Blockstrap menu. When it comes up with this, you can just change all the settings again, you'll be able to click save. All right, let's test with changing the mouse cursor to the 2013, uh, actually let's change the 2006 one. And we've got it on 2006, now we just click save. Okay, now let's go back to Roblox. So again, back on this game, the link will be in the description if you want to play it. Alright, we're now in the game and you can see I have the old cursor. It's fully working, it's not just this game. It'll work with every Roblox game. Uh, so you can see it actually is the old cursor. And this will work in every game, even probably doors. Now the final thing I'm going to show you is how to uninstall Blockstrap if you don't want to use it anymore for whatever reason or if it breaks your Roblox. So all you have to do is search for Blockstrap in your thing. It will come up with the Blockstrap menu. So all you have to do is once it's here, you have to go to uninstall. On Windows 10, you can also just right click and click uninstall. It will pop up with this menu and it shows a lot of different programs you have installed. But as we can see, Blockstrap's here. You can also use the search if you want to look for where it is. Alright, so once you select it, you need to right click, you click uninstall. Then it will just uninstall as simple as that. You can close out, you click OK. 
You can also get rid of the exe file if you need to. All you have to do is right click and delete. And just like that, Blockstrap will be fully uninstalled. So you can go back to playing Roblox and it'll work if anything broke for you. Alright, thanks for watching. If you need any help with anything, just comment it in the description. And make sure to subscribe and like the video if it actually worked for you. Click on the left video and you can go to see how to make your own custom cursor on Roblox with any text you want. Or click on the right video to go to the video YouTube recommends for you. Anyway, thanks for watching. Goodbye.